In example 60, the first thing we look for is our parent function, which we can tell is cosine x. Now we're going to look for the transformations. First, this 4 in front means that our amplitude is 4. I look in front of my x, and it technically has a coefficient of 1. So my period is 2 pi over 1, which is 2 pi adding pi over 4 to my x means that we shift left pi over 4 units and adding 4 on the end means that we shift up 4 units. And since we're shifting to the left the end points of my period are going to change so let's find those end points of that first period. Normally we would start at 0, but since we're shifting to the left pi over 4, we would subtract pi over 4 to see that we're beginning at negative pi over 4. Ending would normally be at the end of our period, which is 2 pi, but since we're shifting to the left pi over 4, we subtract that from 2 pi, so that is 8 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which is 7 pi over 4. So now I'm going to set up my axis now that I know the beginning and end of this period. Now one thing I'm going to keep in mind as I'm creating this axis is that we're shifting up 4 units. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4 is now going to be the middle of my graph. So I like to draw a dashed horizontal line there to represent my new zero. And since my amplitude is 4, I need to make sure I can go up 4 more from that to 8. So for my x-axis, the beginning of my first period is here at negative pi over 4 and then the end of that period is going to be 7 pi over 4. This is not drawn to scale. So now in order to find the middle of those two endpoints, I'm going to do the average. Negative pi over 4 plus 7 pi over 4 is 6 pi over 4. If I divide that by 2, that's 6 pi over 8 which simplifies to be 3 pi over 4. So notice, you can do that work in your head. In the middle of these two points here, 3 pi over 4 plus 7 pi over 4 is 10 pi over 4. Divided by 2 is 10 pi over 8, 5 pi over 4. And the middle of these two, negative pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4, is 2 pi over 4 divided by 2 would be 2 pi over 8 which is pi over 4. So notice you do not have to show all the work I showed in the last video unless you want to. So now I'm going to sketch my first period. So cosine at 0 is going to be stretched up an amplitude of 4 from this new 0 axis. So that's going to be here at this point, negative pi over 4, 8. Now, at my next point, we know cosine should be hitting 0. But instead of 0, it's going to be at pi over 4, 4. Now I need to come down my amplitude of 4. That's going to hit here at 3 pi over 4, 0. Then it's going to go back up to my 0 axis, which is actually at 4. So this is 5 pi over 4, 4. And then we're going to go up to the top here, which is going to be 7 pi over 4, 8. So if I draw my first period of my cosine curve, it should go through these five points here. Now that I have my first period, 
I am going to find the end of my second period. So the first period ends at 7 pi over 4, and I'm going to add my period of 2 pi to see where I should end. So that is 7 pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4, which is 15 pi over 4. So now I'm going to add another period here. It's going to end at 15 pi over 4. So now let's break it up to my intervals. In the middle here, 7 plus 15 is 22 pi over 4. Over 2 is 22 pi over 8. So that makes 11 pi over 4. In between these two, I have 18 pi over 4. If I divide by 2, that's 18 pi over 8, which simplifies to be 9 pi over 4. And in between these two, if I add them, I get 26 pi over 4. Dividing by 2 is 26 pi over 8, which simplifies to be 13 pi over 4. Now, since my period is going to repeat itself, I know I'm going to come down here to this middle point. That is 9 pi over 4, 4. Then I'm going to come down to this 0 at 11 pi over 4. I'm going to come back up here, 13 pi over 4, 4. And then end my period up here at 15 pi over 4, 8. And this would be now the curve of my second period.